What is the IUPAC periodic table of the elements and isotopes? The IUPAC periodic table of the elements and isotopes has been developed as an IUPAC project by a team of isotope scientists and educators. It is a free learning resource and accessible to users around the globe. The accompanying website, isotopesmatter.com, provides further resources for students to learn more about the applications of isotopes. What will you find on the interactive IUPAC periodic table of the elements and isotopes? On the pink, blue, and yellow tiles, the standard atomic weight appears in black on the bottom left-hand corner when the tile is first opened. These atomic weights are calculated relative to the atomic mass of the carbon-12 atom, which is assigned a value of exactly 12. Depending on the color of the element tile, this could be a single value with an uncertainty, like this one here, or an atomic weight interval with upper and lower bounds in square brackets, like magnesium. These intervals are because the ratio of the isotopes varies too much in nature to define a specific atomic weight. The elements with pink backgrounds also include a conventional atomic weight for necessary calculations in science and industry when sample origin is not known. These conventional atomic weights are shown in white. Remember that these numbers are only used because it is impractical to determine the isotopic distribution of a given sample for most experiments and processes. The pie chart on the right is a visual representation of the isotopic abundances used to calculate the atomic weight of the element. In a pinch, you can mouse over to display the atomic mass and percent abundance of the isotope indicated by the color in the legend below. If you've got a little more time, each isotope on the legend can be clicked to replace information about the element with information about the isotope. Their isotopic number, which is their total number of protons and neutrons, their percent abundance, and the atomic mass of that isotope, which is always a single number. Red numbers, like those for selenium-82, indicate that the isotope is radioactive, but stable enough to be included in the calculation of standard atomic weight. Elements with white backgrounds have no stable isotopes, so they do not have a standard atomic weight or pie chart on their tile. Want to learn even more? Flip the card over to see an interesting application of the isotope. Or click on more information to see a complete list of the element's isotopes, as well as more practical applications in many fields of science. You may have noticed that the grouping of elements by color does not match the way elements are grouped on traditional periodic tables. Instead, they are grouped based on the variability of their isotopic abundances and the method used to determine their standard atomic weight. The element colors in legends at the top of the page contains descriptions of what the colors mean as well as a guide to all the information on each tile. For example, Blue is the background color for an element if only one isotope is used to determine its standard atomic weight. The standard atomic weight is invariant and is given as a single value with IUPAC evaluated measurement uncertainty. This information can also be accessed by clicking the question mark button on any element tile. If you'd like to see the IUPAC interactive periodic table of the elements or isotopes, or if you'd like to learn more about the nature of isotope science, go to isotopesmatter.com. The accompanying suite of resources called Isotopes Matter provide educational material related to the study and understanding of isotope science and feature interactive learning tools to promote a better understanding of what isotopes are and why they matter.